Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you around my new gaming room setup. This is where I spend some of my time gaming and reviewing products for my YouTube videos. So I've created a space which is both fun and productive with everything I need on hand, giving me the flexibility to use either my gaming PC or my consoles at both my gaming desk or my sim cockpit. So I'll take you through my setup, show you the items I've chosen and why I've decided on them and links are in the description below, including purchasing links for all the items I'll be showing today. But before I begin, begin if you're new to the channel hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release and if you have any questions on any of the items I've shown today leave me a comment below Let's begin by taking a look at my sim racing setup. My sim cockpit is from Track Racer and it's the TR120. It occupies an area which is 58 centimeters wide and 140 centimeters long. The base structure is 120 by 40 millimeters and it's a high-end aluminium with a T-slot extruded profile which is anodized in black giving an awesome finish. It's extremely rigid with zero flex. It has a low ground clearance with hardwood rubber protectors but I've placed a cockpit on caster wheels with brakes which helps when I need to move it around or make adjustments. On the floor I've placed two sim rig mats both are from Track Racer. The first is a rubberized floor mat covering the area of the sim frame and the monitor mount. It has an RGB neon trim that can have a static color or you can have it cycling through different RGB colors and the one on top covers the area of the sim cockpit with a red accent around the edge that has a soft suede feel. The wheel mount is supported by two aluminium profiles with Track Racer's TR1 wheel mounting system allowing me to deck mount the majority of wheelbases via the pre-drilled holes. You also have the added option of side mounting where you'd only have to change the bracket holding it. So perfect for my needs as I have to flip between different wheels quite regularly for reviews. The universal pedal plate also comes with pre-drilled mounting holes made from strong carbon steel and fits the majority of racing pedals. I also have the shifter mount with a side extension for a handbrake. The seat is a GT style fixed fiberglass seat which is constructed with a high density foam and has an ultra soft cloth finish with foam padding. It's a fixed position seat so you can't adjust the back position. Underneath you've got a slider and you can adjust the seat forwards or backwards depending upon your length. I've also got Track Racer's seat harness attached. The seat is nice and comfortable for long periods of gaming and it doesn't get too hot or sweaty. The monitor mount is a freestanding single monitor stand from Track Racer which supports a monitor or TV up to 80 inches. I've also added a custom shelf behind the TV with the spare aluminium profiles I had so I can place either my PlayStation 5 or my Xbox Series X and I've also attached a power strip. I'm using my LG G C1 55 inch OLED TV which gives the most stunning picture quality in 4K with inky blacks. I've tried different monitor sizes but found the 55 inch to be the perfect size. My wheel is a Logitech G Pro which gives 11 newton meters of torque and has true force which is a high definition force feedback giving you high speed real time haptic force feedback that gives you more detailed game physics so you can feel everything from the road surfaces, terrain changes and weather. And compared to many of the other wheels I've reviewed the true force is a real game changer for me making this one of my favorite wheels at the moment onto my pedals and this is the Logitech G Pro pedals that has a 100 kilogram load cell pedal giving a more realistic braking experience. Lighting wise I've got Govi's glide wall lights around the floor mat and Govi's neon LED strip light around the TV to give some ambient lighting around my sim setup. Both products support segmented control and give a lot of customization. I've tried to keep the cable management on the rig tidy by placing it in the channel of the aluminium strips and then securing with these velcro straps from Envision. The overall look and feel of the TR120 with the accessories looks incredible and racing on this feels awesome with literally zero flex. Track Racer gives a 5 year warranty on all its products which is really good. At the side I've got a wireless keyboard and this is the Logitech K400 Plus. This has a built in trackpad making it easy to navigate around on my PC and the small form factor enables me to just keep it at the side of my sim cockpit. So I don't need a keyboard mount on the sim as it will just take up more space. Now onto my gaming PC that's placed between my sim racing setup and my gaming desk. This is a custom built gaming PC from CyberPower with an insane spec. It has an Intel i9 13900K processor. It's got 32 gigs of Kingston RAM which is DDR5. The GPU is an MSI RTX 4090 Supreme 24G graphics card and it has a Solidium P44 Pro 2TB M.2 SSD and to keep things running ultra quiet it has CyberPower's Hyper Liquid Dual Loop Custom Cooling with the coolant inside being red 
to match the red trim around my sim cockpit. Plus it has LEDs inside the case which can flip between different colours. I've kept the gaming PC between my sim racing setup and gaming desk as it's shared between the two setups. And all I've done is plug in a HDMI cable into my LG TV and a DisplayPort cable into my gaming monitor. And this is possible as the RTX 4090 graphics card has multiple output ports making it easy to switch between the two setups. The PC is insanely fast and gaming performance is ultra smooth. It doesn't struggle in any way giving a great gaming experience with a fast performance and picture quality is awesome in 4K. Now onto my desk which is from FlexiSpot. This is the FlexiSpot Standing Desk Pro Series E8. I went for the all black look with both the metal legs and desktop to match my sim cockpit. The desk is really easy to assemble and didn't take too long to put together. It's a motorized sit stand desk with a control panel which can be placed on either the left or the right. The keypad has a simple design with an LED touchscreen. It has up and down arrows allowing you to adjust the height in increments. You also have a memory preset button which doubles up as a child lock. And on the side of the keypad, you have four presets, one with a standing person and the other with a sitting person and two additional presets. The motors are really quiet and smooth with the frame being sturdy and it doesn't wobble or shake when lowering or lifting. FlexiSpot also give a seven year warranty on the frame, motor and other mechanics and a one year warranty on the desktop. The desktop is all black and looks really clean. It measures 140 centimeters by 70 centimeters and has a two and a half centimeter depth. It's strong and sturdy and I'm really pleased with it. It would have been great if the desk had some sort of cable management hidden in the legs or trunking underneath as I've got a lot of cables going around the desk but you do have the center area of the frame to tuck away the bulk of the cables and I've managed to keep all this tidy by using velcro straps and cable clips from Envisioned. I've also attached a black six-way power strip which blends in nicely and as well as gaming I do sometimes work from the desk when I'm in my studio so I do like being able to flip between sitting and standing as I find myself spending about 30% of my time when working in a standing position. So I've left enough flex in the cables along the side of the frame to allow me to do this. On my desk, I've got a number of accessories, but I've kept things to a minimum. The dark gray felt desk pad I'm using is from AliExpress. It's reversible and cost me just nine pounds or 11 US dollars. It doesn't catch on my mouse and glides really well. Both my keyboard, mouse and headset are from Logitech G. The keyboard is the G915 full size and the mouse is the G502X Plus. They both have RGB lighting and loads of customization, which is done via the Logitech G Hub app. I've done a full review on them. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. I've got a headphone stand from a company called Quinn Coon. It has a walnut wood top and a matte black metal stand, which is strong and sturdy. My headphones are the Logitech G Pro X wireless and these are one of the best headphones I've owned. The sound quality and design of these headphones is excellent and they're really comfortable even if you're wearing them for long periods, making them perfect when I'm gaming or working at my desk or even when I'm sim racing. I've got a silicon drinks coaster which has a matte black finish and I use this to protect my desk from any watermarks from my glass. And when I have my PlayStation on the desk, I use this controller stand, which is from Geek Made Designs. It's made from solid wood and has felt feet underneath and it fits the DualSense controller perfectly, looking absolutely awesome. My monitor is the LG Ultra Gear 32 GQ950. It's a 32 inch gaming monitor with a 4K screen that has a nano IPS panel with a bezel-less three-sided design. It supports HDMI 2.1 and has a lightning fast one millisecond response time, supporting a 144 Hertz refresh rate, which can be overclocked to 160 Hertz on a PC. For me, the 32 inch monitor is perfect on my desk and gaming on this is just incredible. The picture quality on the monitor is excellent with colors being vibrant and sharp. The nano IPS panel has advanced true wide polarizer, which enhances the contrast ratio and color, which improves the quality when viewing at an angle. And it gives better color levels compared to a standard IPS panel. The monitor also has LED lights on the back, which can be controlled via the OSD and gives a nice glow on the wall. I've kept things pretty flexible by using this monitor so I can use it with my PlayStation 5 and my Xbox Series X. So I've kept some cables in the corner allowing me to do that. My chair is a Herman Miller Logitech G Vantam gaming chair. It comes in three different colors and I chose the obsidian black to match my all black gaming desk. 
You do need to assemble it, but it's pretty simple to do as it just comes with three pieces that needs to be put together and you don't need any additional tools to do this. It's a pretty simple design with red coloring around the turning knobs and a Herman Miller logo on the back of the chair frame and a Herman Miller Logitech G label at the bottom. There's quite a lot of adjustability on the chair from adjusting the headrest up and down and tilting forwards and back. The armrest can be moved up and down and forward and back and you're able to adjust the lumbar support at the back of the chair. There's a lever at the front to adjust the height of the chair. You can also increase and decrease the tilt of the chair by turning the knob to the left and use the right knob to tighten the tension. You also have the ability to adjust the seat depth by pressing the lever to slide the seat forward or backwards. The seat is made from breathable material and is incredibly comfortable to sit on. For lighting around my desk, I've used Govi's M1 light strip, which is Govi's first cuttable strip light, which automatically recognizes there's less LEDs and adjusts all the animations and functionalities accordingly in the Govi app. The lamp next to my desk is Govi's smart corner floor lamp. It gives a nice ambient glow that aesthetically looks really nice. And with both these products, you get segmented control and a lot of customizations. So there you have it. You come to the end of my 2023 gaming room setup, and I hope you've liked it and it's given you some ideas for your own setup. There's a few more things I'd like to do, like add a wall rack to the side to show some of my additional wheels and accessories and maybe add some wall art. But let me know what you think and even if you have any suggestions for me. I've provided links in the description below for all the items I've shown today, including purchasing links. And if you're still here, drop a gaming 2023 in the comments as it's nice to see who's made it to the end of my video. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.